Peter, um, how did um, writing impact the person that you are, are today? Uh, that's another one of your diamond yeah. tip tough questions. <laughs> you left me a gap there. Ay, 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 How did it influence who I am today? Well, exactly, who, who, who you are, because I think writing is part of your identity and mm. however it helped you grow in some ways. How, how was that the impact of writing, being a writer? and developing your craft helping. well I can honestly say I, like a lot of writers I would say any writer would look back at what they were writing at the beginning you know when they started writing and I believe I believe the, the, the writing improves the more you do it it's, it, it's like anything okay. it's, it's the 10,000 hours so um, I think that's important so, so, so obviously, I, I, th I think it's, I think it's got better. I, I now accept that I like the idea of writing different stuff, not just, not just being, being limited to one genre. Okay. Uh, for instance, my, my, one of my favorite writers is Ian McEwan, who I, I think is, is, is amazing, and he, he tends to write about very different topics, which I like. Um, another, another guy is Stanley Kubrick who uh, directed just about, in fact, every film he directed was completely different, but brilliant. So, so those, those, are, those are like targets. So the people, yeah. people I respect do different genres, and yeah. I, I would like to do that. Um, I can't really comment on, on, on how, how it's changed me. I, I don't... I don't it necessarily really know. changed, but it helped you form the person who, who you are today, basically. I think I'm now a lot more, a lot prouder looking back at, at, at stuff that I've done. Okay. It, it goes back to if you, if you read something you wrote 10 years ago and, and, and say if there's I don't know, 150 pages and you, you value the stuff that's good and, and sometimes I'm surprised at it. Um, so I think that's that's lovely. I, I mean, I've got I mentioned diaries earlier on. I've probably got diaries. If you start here, there's a pile of diaries about this high. Wow. From f from since I was 18. I haven't I haven't looked at them in detail, but it's something to look forward to. So so for a comprehensive answer to that question, I'd have to read all of those because because they that they really show. <laughs> Plus all the letters and emails that I've yeah. that I've kept to people. Um, so, yeah, it's a tricky question, but but I, I think I'd, I'd have to be a lot older <laughs> to, mm. to, to know <laughs> to know the answer. But by that time, you'd have more diaries to read. So yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But I appreciate the fact that you said, and um, and I think that that there is a valid point in that in that in the sense that when you look at your past works, you you can appreciate your growth, and perhaps even if you don't have the time, even if you think about the time you wrote a certain book or a certain chapter of a book um, you'd have an idea of, of how much progress you've made in, in your craft as well so it's about um, appreciating the progress that you've done and I think that's that's maybe I, I think in terms of the style I, in, in terms of the style I, I, I think I think there are moments when it's when it's when the writing has it, it's more fluid um, one thing I've realized is I tend to be more comfortable writing shorter pieces. This is, this is, uh, I go through periods when I, when I, when I'd write long stuff like, like a novel, but, but I, I really enjoy writing, um, short stories, for instance. These are, these are short stories about true or false stories about, about celebrities. Um, I've got two of those books on either end. There's Hemingway's Chihuahua. A castle on the beach, okay, and those those are those were taken on by a publishing house in in Paris, and that that was a really fun time when when uh, um, they took that on, and uh, they're going to be reprinted as well. And uh, I'll tell you briefly: it's ten ten extraordinary stories about extraordinary people, Hemingway's Chihuahua. Some are true, some are completely fictional, but which did Einstein truly exchange places with his chauffeur at a physics conference? 
Did Queen Elizabeth play poker with her servants? And of course, did Ernest Hemingway really have a killer chihuahua? So it's 10 different stories with one thing in common, each presents a mystery. So I really enjoyed writing that. And some of the stories I really enjoy rereading. Re um, but that, you know, th there are times when I prefer to be a short distance runner yeah. than a marathon runner. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very much associated with moods and emotion as mm -hmm. opposed to thinking about stuff. Well, I think that's, that's an important thing to remember that when, mm -hmm. when we are expressing ourselves, in this case to writing, it's about the expression itself. The yeah, the, the space where we express ourselves. We talked about this last week as well. In, in terms of when there is that sweet spot that you find when you when you're writing, when you're when you're really with the story, you're you're lost in it, mm -hmm. and you're not thinking at all. Um, I've recently, in the last four years, I, I I've taken up the piano to so certain certain tunes, which which uh, a very brave piano teacher has taken me on, and she's uh, and she's helped me. Uh, learn certain pieces, and and I've noticed that when I'm when I'm reciting, when I'm rehearsing, when it's working really well, you're not thinking at all. And the minute I, I have a thought in my yeah. head, I make a mistake, and I I relate that to writing a bit. When when you're really engrossed in the story, that, that there is no thought. It's mm -hmm. it, it's a wonderful almost subconscious form of of a process. Yeah, so 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 it's great fun. Fun, yes, fun without thinking about it. Good stuff. Peter, thank you for being here today. Um, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate that you, you share your experiences, um, your writing experiences, uh, as especially writing the uh, Agent Charlie book with your son. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. I think um, it, I think your son will remember it fondly um, as he looks back and do, even though he doesn't, he didn't, he doesn't, he will not remember every aspect of the story, which I, because <laughs> he was too young about I really it. hope he doesn't remember everything. <laughs> but well, now, that's the fun now about he's, it. he's got no choice now because, because, because it's here and, yeah. and whether it all happened, I can't even remember. We all know about it now. So yeah. he has no escape, unfortunately. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no escape, no escape. Um, no, it's, it's been, it's been a real pleasure. In fact, it's it, it, interesting experience. So, uh, I would count this as my first podcast. I, I think the last one, uh, was a the draft. was a prototype. It was a scribble. Uh, yeah, it was a scribble. Yeah. Scribbles. So, so, so I enjoyed this very much, and uh, and I'd, I'd love to do it again sometime. For sure. Great. And for the listeners and for the viewers, once again, the book will be um, linked in the description below. So if you want to check it out, you can go check it out on Amazon as well. Yes, do check it out and 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 enjoy it. Thank you, Peter.